Bill Fitzgerald, coach of Blue Mountain, had his team here at the auditorium last year and lost in the championship game to South Royalton. In order to reach the semifinals this year, they defeated Northfield, and then in the quarterfinals on Saturday, uh, last Friday, that was, they defeated Richford 65-55. to Meanwhile, Hazen, under first-year coach Steve Pratt, is making its first appearance here at the Berry Auditorium since 1981, when it won the championship in overtime over People's Academy. In order to get here this evening, Hazen has beaten Green Mountain in a playoff round, and then on, Saturday, on Friday night, they defeated Pulteney 65-58 to to earn their way to this championship game. I'm pleased to have with me again uh, Bill Noyes, who will be doing the play-by-play -play and watching these contests very closely. Uh, we're approaching uh, what is about to be the first, as I said, of two Division Three semifinals. We're going down to PA announcer Gilly Morrill, uh, have the introduction of the starting lineups, and yeah, this national anthem will be played or sung, and then Bill and I will be back up here for this Division Three semifinal contest. Seeds one, two, three, and four in this uh, tournament, but uh, that's going to see it most of the week. Yeah. Well, one would guess that that somebody did something right with the uh, the pairings and the the ratings and so forth, the ind indices. But uh, most of the most yeah. of the week, that's what we'll see. One through four. 
With one exception, there is a number five team in Division Four. That's Kevin King in uh, the gold jersey, Travis Hill in red as the uh, teams get set. Spencer Noble steps in. And we're just about set to get underway. Wildcats control the tap. Agresti has the ball outside. Reno comes up short. Rebound, Blue Mountain, Hagen. Up the floor to Blood. So the Bucks break out on top. Here's Agresti. To Kerr. Hazen with the size advantage with uh, Reno and Hill and Davison underneath. From the corner, Hill. That ties it. Hill at 6 6. Can uh, bring the ball up, play inside. He pretty much does it all for uh, Hazen. Right side, Bogey puts the shot up. Davison clears the boards. Up ahead to Agresti. And we got a whistle. See if the basket will count. It should, and it does. And the foul is on Kevin King. Reno will go to the line. Reno went over the 1,000-point mark during the uh, playoff game last week against Green Mountain, the first boys basketball player in Hazen to reach that plateau. 5-2, Hazen. Full court pressure. Here's Haggett. Stumbling. Ball loose, but he gets it back. Feeds it to Blood. To Bogey. Haggett. Back outside, Blood looking. Down to Nelson. First time he's handled the ball. They need to have Nelson involved in their offense. I believe he's a thousand point scorer too, isn't yeah, he? He reached a thousand this year as well. But for Blue Mountain to win, he's got to uh, score his share. He uh, does it all for Blue Mountain. Shot off the glass and in. 5 4. Bogey with a basket. There's Kerr giving to Reno. Reno into the paint. 7-4, Hazen. Here's Bogey. Loose ball. Blue Mountain holds on to it. To Haggett. Into Nelson. And Davison comes up for the ball. Five minutes to go first quarter. And they throw it away. <laughs> Two players right there. Agresti and Kerr both there. Ball went right between them and out of bounds. As they looked at each other, yeah, they expected the other to take right. it. Right. Three-point lead for Hazen. As Bogey has it. Haggett, a whistle, three-second violation. So Blue Mountain turns it over. Agresti will bring it up for the Wildcats. Hill from the corner for three. Rebounded by Eric Bogey. He leaves it for Haggett. Bogey drills it just inside the three-point arc. 7-6. Here's Kerr working the right sideline. Reno dumps it to Hill. 
Reno, strong move again, comes up short. Hill rebounds. He'll take it back to the foul line. And a foul, first of the ball game for Hazen. Looks like it's on a Reno. And Blue Mountain will get the basketball and bring in uh, Paul Lakin. First substitution of the game for the Bucks. We're halfway through the first period with Hazen leading by one. Nelson inbounds it to Haggett. Baseline, Lakin doesn't take him long to get on the scoreboard. And it's 8-7. Blue Mountain's back on top. There's Kerr. Davison from the corner for three. The pass thrown away in backcourt. Will they get to it on the end line? Yes, they save it. And a timeout. Heads up play by Haggett. Saved it on the end line. Knew they wouldn't get it back across midcourt in 10 seconds, so he called the timeout. 3.23 to go first quarter, and it's Hazen 10, Blue Mountain 8. Three twenty-three to go, first quarter. Blue Mountain with the ball, trailing by a bucket. Pass in and out of the hands of uh, Hill, trying to make the steal. Blue Mountain will hold on to it. But then it's stolen off the inbounds pass. Here's Hill, leaving it for Agresti. Agresti to Reno. Davison for three. Knocked it right out of his own player's hands. There's Haggett having trouble on the dribble, but he gets it to Lakin on the baseline and ties it at 10. Reno for three. A late indication by Spencer Noble, but calls it a good three, and that's 13-10. Hazen. Here's Haggett. Again, trouble on the dribble. Ball knocked loose. Agresti tied up. And Blue Mountain will hold on to it. Haggett's been bringing the ball up alone for Blue Mountain. They may need to get him some help bringing that ball up against Agresti. Here's Blood. Nelson with a follow-up and a whistle. And problem with a cameraman on the end line. Apparently they stopped play momentarily. He was hindering Spencer Noble's movement on the end line. 13-12. And we got a whistle. Can have a foul coming up against, I believe, Hill. No, let's see. Who is it? 15. 14. All right. It's on Blue Mountain. Looked like uh, they were indicating yeah. that Travis Hill of Hazen might have pushed, but uh, the foul on Blue Mountain on Paul Lakin. Second team foul with a minute 54 to go here in the quarter. And a steal on the inbounds pass. Hazen throws it away as Lakin comes up with the steal. Haggett across midcourt. Minute 30 to go, first quarter. Here's Nelson back to Haggett. 14 13, Blue Mountain. Here's Agresti dumping the ball left side to Kerr. Tap to Reno. And he takes it inside and he's fouled by, looks like Haggett. And into the ball game comes 
Steve Appleby for Blue Mountain. Blood will go to the bench. 113 left, first quarter. Inbounds pass deflected off Hill's hands. Here's Haggett. Off to Bogey. Rebound knocked to the sideline. A scramble, and Reno comes up with it. One minute left, first quarter. Here's Agresti. He traveled. Couldn't make up his mind whether to take that three or not. When he did, he'd, he'd shuffled his feet. 50 seconds remaining, first quarter. Top of the key, Bogey. Gives to Haggett. 14-13, now 16-13. Blue Mountain by three. Hill brings it up for the Wildcats. Half a minute to go. Leaves it for Agresti. To Reno. Rebounded by Blue Mountain. Off to Haggett. Here's Haggett. Foul line with it. Underneath. Wide open. Bogey misses. Rebounds. And hits. 18-13 Blue Mountain. Five seconds to go in the first quarter. Here's Agresti. Back to Reno. Two seconds. Davison for three at the buzzer. Comes up short. And after one, it's Blue Mountain 18. Hazen 13. Five-point lead for Blue Mountain after they went on an eight-nothing run to uh, take the lead. Daryl Hayden into the ball game now for uh, Hazen as we start the second quarter. Here's Hill with the ball. Reno. This is Kerr, top of the key to Hill. We'll find he spends a lot of time out there. Despite his 6'6 size, we got a travel in the corner. That's Ron Ferrant, who also came in to start the second quarter. So they got the, and now he'll come to the bench. He's going to say we had the 6'4 Ferrant and the 6'6 Hill in there, but Justin Richardson checks into the game now. Ferrant goes to the bench. Blue Mountains up by five. Here's Appleby with the ball. Up top to Jeff Roberts, who started the second quarter for the Bucks. Nelson. Here's Appleby. And that's a two, apparently on the line, so that makes it 20-13. Blue Mountains up by seven. Here's Hill. Kerr for three. Hill keeps it alive. Reno tracks it down on the sideline, saves it, but it goes to Blue Mountain. Here's Haggett. Roberts with it now. Hill to the foul line. Comes up short, but he's fouled. Steve Appleby will send uh, Travis Hill to the line for two. Here's Agresti back into the game now for Hazen. These are the first free throws of the ball game. Uh, no. No, oh, that's right. Reno. Reno hit one early. Yep. 2014. 
Six minutes left in the first half. Here's Haggett. Crossing the midcourt line to Roberts. Top of the key, Appleby. Almost knocked loose. Was knocked loose, almost stolen. Roberts inside. A give and go pass, and they look the other way, and it's stolen by Hill. Trying to dump the ball down low to Lakin, and he turned the other way and didn't see it. Here's Hill from the left side. Hazen cold here in the first half. They trail 20 to 14. They're normally able to light up the scoreboard, but they're having trouble finding the range so far tonight. Here's Nelson taking it inside. 22-14. Blue Mountains up by eight. And we got a timeout called by Hazen. 4.54 remaining here in the first half. It's Blue Mountain 22, Hazen 14. The Wildcats take a timeout. Blue Mountains up by eight, 4.54 to go. And uh, so far, Hazen has been relying on pretty much just two players, Reno and Hill, to shoot the ball. They need to uh, get Blue Mountain to come out of their zone a little bit, put some shots up. But right now, uh, uh, Reno and uh, Hill, the only two shooting for, uh, for Hazen, and they've been cold. Yeah, they can't use their height to advantage unless they get to open it up a little bit. Top of the key, Hayden off to Reno. Down low and a foul on Nelson. Yes, they set it down low to Hill. Oh, that's his first. No, I'm sorry. That's his first. I thought it was just his second. That's the fifth team foul against the, the Bucks. Here's Davison coming back into the ball game now for Hazen. Richardson goes to the bench. Hayden, he'll take the three and he'll nail it. They left him wide open. Those are the shots they got to take. If you're open, take it. 22-17, four and a half minutes to go here in the first half. This is Ryan Dennis, number three, had the ball, passed it off. Ryan Dennis going against Agresti outside. The ball knocked away by Davison, goes out of bounds. Into the ball game now comes Scott Blood. Steve Appleby, Appleby out for Blue Mountain. Dennis gives to Nelson. He'll take the three. Uh. 25-17. Reno for three. Well, Blue Mountain's holding Hayes into just one shot. Blue, uh, Hazen not able to use their height advantage. And will we get a double dribble? Yes. Three fifty-eight to go in the half. Hazen with the ball. Reno inbounds it to Agresti. Here's Reno into the key. Dumps it to Hill. Open on the baseline. And we got a double dribble in the backcourt. Another turnover by Blue Mountain. So the Wildcats get it back with 3.40 to go. And here's Haggett back into the game now for Blue Mountain. Lob pass out to Davison. Here's Hayden. Hill. Looking for the give and go with Davis and didn't get it. Reno left corner. Davison, or rather Hill, against Nelson. Back to Davison. They're hesitant to pull the trigger. Here's the lob pass to Hill on the baseline. Can't get it to fall. They gotta have those. That hurts. That hurts. 
Three minutes left in the half. And Blue Mountain playing some tough defense and uh, holding their own on the boards. More than holding their own. Here's the rebound of Hayden. Up ahead to Reno. Davison. Hill rebounds, and it's going to go the other way. The foul is on Hill. First foul on Hill. <laughs> 2.40 to go here in the first half and a six-point Blue Mountain lead. Here's Haggett getting open. Blue Mountain will hold on to it. Eric Bogey back into the ball game. Ryan Dennis to the bench for the Bucks. 2.32 left in the half. Takes it to the baseline. Boy, they just take it away from the 6-6 Hill. It's having trouble on the boards here against this shorter Blue Mountain team, but they wind up with the basketball in the end. And then they lose it, knocked to the floor, tied up. Blue Mountain will get it. Hill is getting there, but Blue Mountain getting some good position, taking the ball away from that taller Hazen ball player. And a steal in backcourt by Daryl Hayden. Double teamed on the sideline. Two minutes left in the half. Here's Hill, top of the key. Kerr into Davison. Strong move to the baseline, 25-21. So they've cut the lead to four with a minute 40 to go here in the half. Here's Bogey to Nelson on the baseline. Comes up short. Davison clears it. Right side to Hill. And it's a two-point ball game. 25-23. A minute 20 left in the first half. As Hazen has battled back into it. Foul on the rebound. It's on Blue Mountain on Paul Lakin. And here's uh, Jamin Reno coming back into the game now for Hazen. And Hayden goes to the bench. Came up with a big steal. Got them the hoop to bring them within two. Minute 14 left, first half. Here's Reno, surrounded, lost the ball, but gets it back. Good move by Reno. Back in from Hill to Reno, too hard, Davison. And that ties it at 25. So eight straight points for Hazen has tied it. Here's Bogey. Knocked away. Blue Mountain will get it right in front of the Hazen bench. 35 seconds to go in the half. Nelson will put it in play right next to uh, Steve Pratt, the Hazen coach. Pass comes into Haggett, and it's tied up. And Hazen will get the ball. So a chance for the uh, Wildcats to regain the lead. With 33 seconds left in the first half after they trail by eight. Both teams have had their own eight-nothing runs here in the first half. Twenty seconds remaining. Here's Hill in the corner. Got to get rid of it soon. Outside to Kerr. Ten seconds remaining. 
Agresti to Reno. Inside for Hill on the baseline. He's there, but kicks it back to the corner for three. Blocked and a foul. And that'll send Hayes into the line for three. With one second left. Ooh. Billy Fitzgerald was pointing up at the scoreboard. I think he was trying to convince them that, <laughs> yeah, that the, the, time. the time should have ended, expired before the foul. But the clock shows one second. And that, a costly foul on Eric Bogey. That'll put Charlie Kerr at the line for three. And he misses the first. But Travis Hill had that pass inside. All he had to do was make that move to the hoop. Use that size, but he kicked it back into the corner. Reno comes to the bench. Barry Catarat is in to replace him. And Rashid will check into the game now. Both coaches substituting here with one second remaining. Uh, they don't want any of their... No fouls on any... Uh, any, any yeah. of their big players. So uh, they're, they're, cleaning, they're clearing their benches already here. <laughs> Nick Perry ball. comes in for Blue Mountain Very and Kevin ball. King back in. Two more shots, though, for... Charlie Kerr. Well, not a bad foul then. He's missed two. <coughs> and here comes Adam Florentine into the game now for Blue Mountain. And Jeff Roberts will come in. So Billy Fitzgerald has all of his starters, with the exception of Haggett, off the floor now. Well, let's see. No, King is back in there as well, so... Got three of his starters out. Not taking any chances with one second left. He missed all three shots. So they go to the uh, locker room tied after Kerr missed three out of three with one second to go. At uh, the end of 16 minutes of play, it's Blue Mountain 25, Hazen 25. Well, we're all tied just where we started. Both teams went on eight nothing runs in that first half. Yeah, but thought the game might be a little higher scoring than it, than it is, but uh, been a good game. Well, both teams like to push the ball a lot more than they have so yeah. far in uh, in this one. Blue Mountain's kind of slowing the tempo down a little bit, and uh, they have done well against the taller Wildcats on the board. Excellent. Ooh, pass underneath a foul on uh, Davison, and that'll send Blue Mountain to the line. Scott Blood will get two. Well, let's see. They, yeah, here we go. Foul is on Davison. First on Davison. That's, a fir that's the first time they've been at the foul line. Yep. So it's a one-point lead for Blue Mountain. Agresti brings it up the floor. And a steal. Pass goes to Haggett. Now to King. He banks it home. So it's 28-25. Here's Agresti in the backcourt. Doubled up off the foot of Bogey and out of bounds. Blue Mountain putting a little bit more pressure yeah, on he's defensively. Come out, he's come out of trap defense. It looks like a 1 2 2 trap. Maybe, no, now he's gone back to a 1 3 1 zone. And they are watching Hill closely on that baseline. King going wherever Hill goes. Trying to keep him away from the ball. Here's Agresti, fakes the shot, gives to Davison. Inside Hill, doubled up. Can't get it to fall. Agresti, and Hill is fouled by Bogey. Six fifty to go, first uh, third quarter. Here's Davison for three. 
Reno keeps it alive, picks up the loose ball. Reno did it all on that one. 28-27. Here's Haggett with trouble on the dribble. Loose ball and a foul coming up. It's on Hazen, on Charlie Kerr. for Nelson knocked loose goes out of bounds Nelson looking foul on the rebound on Hazen and again it's on Kerr his second quick foul 6-11 to go here in the third quarter. And that puts Scott Blood at the line for two. Missed them both. Loose ball. And Blue Mountain gets it. Blood nails it from the left side. 30-27, Blue Mountain. Here's Agresti doubled up, but it's stolen by Blood. And he is fouled as he goes to the hoop. So he's been having some problems here at the start of the second half. Against some pressure from Blue Mountain. Agresti's first foul. He'll come to the bench. Daryl Hayden is on to replace him. Thirty two twenty seven Blue Mountain by five. There's Hill in the right corner. Reno. Dumps it to Hill, open. All alone on the end line. Good pass from Reno to Hill. They tripled up on uh, Reno that left Hill wide open. 32-29. Here's Bogey to Nelson. Nelson has it stripped away by Davison and stolen right back. But then it goes to Hill. Up ahead to Reno for three. Rebounded by Hazen. And a whistle and a foul on Nelson. Three minutes gone here in the third quarter. That's the second on Nelson. And the second team foul on the Bucks here in the second half. From the corner, Hill for three. Reno the rebound. 32-31. Here's Haggett against Hayden. Bogey. 34-31. Reno inside the foul line. Strong move. Puts it up and in. Hits the floor hard. 34-33. Reno starting to take charge of things a little bit here in the second half for Hazen. Kerr tries to make the steal. Loses it out of bounds. Excellent body control. Boy. I don't know how he can thread it through that lane.
Coming up on the four-minute mark of this third quarter. Here's Bogey, right side of the key, nails another one. 36-33. Blue Mountain up by three. Davison inside. Gets his own rebound, goes back up. Good effort by Davison. So Hazen starting to uh, dominate a little bit here in the uh, second half on the boards. They were getting beat off the boards in the first half. Three and a half minutes to go in the quarter. One point lead for the Bucks. Here's Haggett. Blood from the left side. Follow up and a foul. It'll be on Reno. And that'll put Paul Lakin at the line for Blue Mountain. Lakin hits one out of two, gives him a two-point lead, and the rebound goes to uh, Hazen as it was knocked out of bounds by the Bucks. Hill will bring it up. Shot up and in. Jamin Reno again takes the ball inside, ties it at 37, and we got a foul at midcourt. Foul is on uh, Daryl Hayden. And that puts them at the limit. Sixth team foul against the Wildcats. So from this point on, Blue Mountain will be shooting. Here's the pass up to Nelson in the front court. 2.50 to go here in the third period. Haggard with it. Underneath, open is Blood. Mix up on the end line. He got free and gets the basket to make it 39-37. Here's Davison. Hill the rebound. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine. Here's Haggett. Not, no, stayed in bounds. Well, it, it hit Billy Fitzgerald, the Blue Mountain coach, and he's out of bounds. <laughs> Should have been somebody's ball out of bounds. They miss rebound, uh, the pass up into the front court, out of bounds intended for Davison. I'm not sure who touched it last, but it hit Billy uh, Fitzgerald, the coach. He was out of bounds, so that means the ball should have been dead. But it hit him and came back so fast, I don't think Jim Rose knew it hit him. Two minutes left, third quarter. Here's Haggett across midcourt. Inside to Nelson, and he is fouled by Davison. Boy. It's a seventh, and uh, Roman only has two. Well, they're struggling at the free throw line. It hits one out of two. It's 40 to 39 with a minute 50 to go here in the third quarter. Here's Davison to Kerr. Inside to Davison. 41-40. Wildcats back on top. Here's Appleby. Back to Haggett. Bogey into the paint. Nelson the rebound. 
42-41. Here's Reno looking, cross court. To Davidson in the corner. And Davidson nails it. So both teams starting to heat up here in this third quarter. Not a whole lot of offense in the first half, but they're starting to find the range now with 50 seconds to go in the third. And Nelson looking. Goes over Davison. Hill clears it. All the way into the paint. And a blocking foul called on Blue Mountain. The basket will count. And he'll go to the line. Foul is on Haggett. Thirty-eight seconds remaining here in the third quarter. And Hill goes to the line. 45-42, Hazen. Rebound knocked to the floor. Lakin loses it to Hill. And Hill is fouled. And that'll put Hill at the line once again. Fouls on Lake in his third. Forty six forty two. Here's Haggett losing the ball in backcourt or in his own forecourt rather and goes to Agresti. Twenty seconds remaining. King uh, rather uh, Kerr left side to Reno. Reno to the baseline twelve seconds left. Cross court Kerr for three. Four seconds left. Here's Blue Mountain. Blood from backcourt launches it over the backboard at the horn. So at the end of three, it's Hazen 46, Blue Mountain 42. Eight minutes to go, and it's a four point Hazen lead as. Uh, the Wildcats started to take control of the boards in that third period. Strong efforts off the glass by Hill and Reno in that third quarter. And Davison. And a steal by Haggett. So Blue Mountain forces the turnover to start the fourth quarter. Here's Blood. Hits the glass. And Reno comes up with it. Off to Hill. Down on the baseline. Kerr. Forty-eight, forty-two. Hazen. Here's Haggett. Breaking free. Back to Appleby. A minute gone here in the fourth quarter. Six-point lead for the Wildcats. Appleby to the foul line. Lakin missed the shot. Rebound is knocked out of bounds by Hazen. Here's Appleby. Appleby takes it into the paint, leaves it short, and then commits the foul. Fifth team foul against Blue Mountain.
Davison kicks it back outside. Reno. Cleared away by Nelson. Here's Haggett. Six minutes left in the ball game. To Nelson for three. Kerr surrounded in the corner and then tied up. He might have been better off to let that one go out of bounds. As it is, the ball goes to Blue Mountain. The ball was headed out of bounds and no one could get to it except Kerr. And the Bucks wind up with it on the alternating possession. Here's Appleby. Haggett. Nice move into the key. Makes it 48-44. Hill from the left side. Off the glass. He's starting to find the range after a cold first half. 50-44. With five and a half minutes to go. Haggett against Agresti. To Appleby. Inside Lakin. There's Hill. Davison from the corner. Rebound outside. Appleby has it. Agresti knocks it loose and steals it. Gives to Kerr. Back to Agresti. Hill rebounds, loses it. Kerr back out to Davison. Here's Reno. And a foul. And Davison really looks like he's uh, looks like he's winded, but uh, going to stay in there. He was real slow coming up the floor on that last transition, but uh, staying out there. 4:47 to go here in the third, a uh, fourth rather. And into the ball game comes Kevin King for Blue Mountain. Lakin will go to the bench. And the foul was on Appleby, his third, and the sixth team. So from this point on, they'll be shooting at both ends of the floor. Inbounds, it comes to Hill for the lay-in. 52-46. Here's Haggett. Inside to Nelson, makes his move over Davison. 52-48. Four twenty-five left in the ball game. Hill down low to Davison. Fouled as he goes up. Fouls on King. And that'll put Davison at the line for two. Second foul on King. Fifty-two forty-eight. Blue, uh, Hazen. As we near the halfway point of the fourth quarter. Fifty-three, forty-eight. He's up by five. Here's Bogey in the backcourt. Gives to Haggett. Blood with it now. Davison lost it. Blood takes it away. Knocked to the floor, and we got a kick called against Hazen. Davidson kicked the ball as it was loose on the floor, so Blue Mountain gets it. Paul Lakin will check back into the game for the Bucks. Knocked out of bounds. Davidson's going to get a breather now for Hazen, and Justin Richardson is in to replace him. Three fifty-nine left in the ball game. Hazen's up by five. Haggett. Ball's on the floor. Scramble, and let's see what's the call. We got two whistles, and uh, been no indication yet. Might have been a timeout call as the ball was. Uh... Well, that's what it is. Timeout call by Blue Mountain as Nelson had the ball, and before he was uh, 
tied up. He called the timeout. So the Bucks take a timeout with 3.51 left. And they trail by five. For the home stretch, 3.51 to go. Well, Anybody's ball game. That was a real smart heads up play by that young man. Well, it's the second one they've yeah. had in a situation like that where uh, they call that timeout before something they unfavorable to them happened. Yeah. I believe they would have lost the ball on possession had it been a tie-up. Uh, yeah, would have gone to Hazen. Shot from the baseline by Blood. 53-50. Full court pressure, and Hazen calls the timeout. 334 left in the ball game. 53-50. Hazen leads by three. Three thirty-four to go in the ball game. 53-50. Hazen by three. Now they took the press off. Yep. They threw it on after the basket, took it off. And Agresti brings the ball up the floor. Here's Reno into Hill. Reno's been shut out here in this fourth quarter. He had eight in that third quarter. Agresti. 310 remaining. And it's stolen by Blood as Reno looked to the bench for some help from. Steve Pratt, he was asking him what he wanted to do and had yeah, a backcourt back violation. Oh. He turned it right back yeah. over. And Reno turned to Steve Pratt to ask him what he wanted to do with the ball and Blood stole it away. And then they turned it over. So a break for Hazen. Comes into Hill. 2.58 left. Three-point lead for Hazen. Hill dumps it to Davison. And it's blocked from behind. Jump ball, ball. and it goes to Hazen. Boy, Davison just put the ball on the floor rather than taking it right yeah. to the hoop immediately. And that gave him the time to recover and block that shot. He had a step. He was open. Yep. They had their yep. backs turned to him, but he hesitated, put the ball on the floor one time, and then went up with it. Nice block by Nelson. Here's Reno. To Davison. 55-50. 238 remaining in the ball game. Here's Blood for three. 55-53. Hill. Agresti now. Back to Hill. 220 left in the ball game. Three pointer. Charlie Kerr, 58-53. Two minutes left. Here's Haggett. Blood with it. To Bogey, now to Haggett. Into Lakin. Blocked and taken away by Hill. 1.45 to go. Doubling Hill in backcourt. And a foul on Nelson. With a minute 41 to go. Comes up short, but Reno has the rebound. It's taken away. Bogey. Minute 35 to go. In the corner, Blood for three. Oh. oh, Blood is drilling those threes now. Coming down the stretch. 58 56, 120 to go. Here's Hill. Lost it. Nelson to steal. There was no one there. Stolen back. And it's stolen back by Agresti at a timeout call. Big defensive play by Agresti right. after they lost it. Or was that Kerr? Can't see. It was right below us. Oh, at any it rate, happened right below us. Big defensive play yeah. by the Wildcats after losing the ball. They get it back with 109 to go, and they lead by two. Fine, just a second. 
don't know if that was 20 or three. Well, I don't know, but that, I'll tell you, both of these teams are exceptionally well thrilled. I mean, they've called timeouts and they've done things that uh, really, really, sh they should be proud of. Both these coaches have got these the kids well, well schooled. Well, we got a minute nine left. Hazen with the lead and the ball. Here's Kerr outside. Agresti. One minute left. Hill. Stolen away by Bogey. Side coming. It's tied. Boy, he saw that pass coming all the way, as did everybody in the gym. That was a pass that Hill should not have thrown. 42 seconds to go, and it's tied. Here's Reno. Surrounded, and he's tied up. Blue Mountain gets it. Two uh, costly errors. Thirty-eight seconds to go, and it's tied. And a steal by Agresti. Boy, the defense on both ends of this floor. Twenty-eight seconds. Here's blood for three. Hill the rebound. Up to Davison. He's got Reno open. Doesn't see him. Reno from the right. Back to Hill. Fifteen seconds left. And a foul. Oh. 13 seconds left. Hill at the line for one and one. Oh, we are. 60 to 58. What a game. Oh, I'll tell you, this is beautiful. I mean, there have been so many great plays, and I and I don't use that word often, but it's... Agresti, maybe with the play of the game oh, on that yeah. steal. That steal right... Well, and the steal down here in the corner, too. And right now, Blue Mountain wants a timeout. 13 seconds left. It's 60 to 58, Hazen. Big, these foul shots are. Well, neither team has shot exceptionally well no. at the foul line tonight. But he's got two, uh, one and one coming one and up here. That was, yeah, that's the ninth foul. Ninth foul yeah. So it's not in the double bonus. 13 seconds left. Hill drains the first, 61-58. This is really important because a three-pointer will not tie it. Two possession. 62-58. They can let them score the three. It is a three. It's short. Hill rebounds. And Hazen is going to win it. Six seconds left in the foul in the backcourt. That'll be the tenth, and that'll put Hill on the line for two. But now, with under 10 seconds left, there's virtually nothing Blue Mountain can do with a four-point lead for Hazen. Uh, it's six. It's hard six to see the light yet. They can, uh, even if he misses the free throws, they can just let him go the length of the floor and score and let the clock run out. Yeah, you can see uh, Jason Reno. They say no foul. 63-58. Well, when it came down to push game to shove, young Mr. Hill was there. He'll fire the ball up into the front court. Three seconds, the three-pointer missing. Rebound at the buzzer. And Hazen has knocked off the top-seeded Blue Mountain Bucks to move to the finals in Division Three. 63-58, Hazen over Blue Mountain. Wow. What a game. What a game. If this is any indication of what's to come this week, why, we're in for a real treat. Well, Steve Pratt in his first year at Hazen brings the Wildcats to the finals. It's, uh, yep. Since 1981 when they won the championship in overtime. Of course, uh, we could draw a scenario, too, that if Peoples could win the second game, it <laughs> they are very much arch rivals. That would be something to see on on Saturday. And, but, and those two teams met twice in the regular season and People's Academy won both of them. But they were close. They were both, both close, close games. games in fact, they, yeah. People's handed them their first loss of the season and then yeah. beat them again in the final week. 
but both very close games. But people still has to get past Thetford That's to make right. it to the finals. And that will be the second game. But uh, we start, saw a beautiful game here tonight. And uh, I know Blue Mountain feels bad, but they should be. Hold their head up high. They've had a great season, and they've done a great, great job. Our congratulations to both teams. And our thanks again to the tournament committee, uh, Lucas Sandy and Ken Guider for their assistance. And so from the Barry Auditorium for my chief cameraman, Steve McAllister, and for Bill Noyes, this is Mac McAllister saying thank you very much for being with us and good night.